Hi Aquarius and welcome to your spirit guide and angel messages for December 2019. We are in the last month of the year, the last month of this decade Aquarius. Can you believe that? Anyways, there's a lot of astrology going on in December. I'm going to start by pulling a card for the number that is significant, special, meaningful, or lucky for Aquariuses. All right, um, that one wants to jump out and I feel we're going to pull two actually. So there's a few numbers significant for Aquariuses, and I love that number, the first one out. Okay, so 56 is significant, and what is 56 reduced down to? An 11, and Aquarius, you guys rule the 11th house of the Zodiac. So 11 is quite special and significant for you. It's also the number of spirit, so a lot of what you're experiencing in December your spiritual team is right there with you open up ask for signs ask for synchronicities but also it's like spirit is really moving and working in your life when it comes to relationships because we have relationship change coming through also oh wow wow look at that we couldn't have planned that could we and so this is 26 which would be an eight so 56 26 11 and eight are significant for aquarius relationship change love partnership um that kind of really speaks for itself right many of you uh singles out there whoa many of you singles out there this may be changing in december also, some of you in committed relationships, if you've been like on the fence about ending things, leaving things, there you go. That could be what's going down. Also with this, um, that you could be making some new friend connections. So Aquarius, December looks like it's completely about relationships in your life, whether that is friendships or romantic relationships. There's definitely stuff going on there. So let's dig in deeper and see what your spirit guides would like to say or add to this. I feel like we need to keep the two theme going throughout your whole reading. So I feel like there's two significant changes taking place for you guys. First out is diligence. And next is illumination. Oh, so Aquarius, um, just everything you've been going through, <clears throat> you've gotten very real with yourself. And you're in a different space, a different headspace, and you're seeing things from a different perspective in December, especially around your relationships, your connections, your attachment of present as well as past. And you are, in some situations, you may have been being very stubborn and that's shifting. In other situations, you may have been too giving and too forgiving and now that's shifting. You, <clears throat> the reason why these relationships changes are happening is because you are changing within and you're coming at everything from a much more expanded and enlightened point of view and perspective than you have all year long so you are very wise trust yourself Aquarius if there are connections that you are ready to cut out of your life and you're receiving like a lot of resistance or backlash about your decisions stay true to you because you are definitely seeing things as they are and on the other side of that coin there may be some connections that you want to return into your life or that you want to um, mend and heal because again you're seeing things from a different perspective so let's see what your angels would like to add look at on the bottom angel of love So we have an angel of encouragement and there's your 11 again. And angel of communication, which is a seven. And you wanna know what? Seven, the seventh house of the zodiac is actually all about relationships. So Aquarius, this is here where we have communication and encouragement. Um, some of you, you are desiring, and look at, she has an 11 on her shirt, 11, 11, that is spirit all day long. That's about soulmates, twin flame, all of it. Um, 
you want more love, support, and encouragement in your connections, whether it is friend, family, romance, business, it doesn't matter. Like you are just in such a spiritual place and you want to connect soul to soul. Um, and soul to soul is different than being emotional. Okay. But that's where you want to feel the connection there. It's like, you don't want to open up. You don't want to express. You feel like it's a waste of your time. If somebody can't meet you in that space and you know, we have communication. So <laughs> Aquarius, there's a lot of conversations going on. And this again is uh, current relationships, past relationships, new connections coming in. I mean, this is a general reading, so obviously uh, the way this is playing out different for all of you, but who Aquarius, there are changes coming to your romance uh, status, to your friends, but for the better. And I really do feel if there's any uh, re romantic situation that's ending, it's really based upon your decision, not the decision um, of who you're dating. It's like you are deciding to detach and break away because you have just evolved into something else that you feel like you and this person have grown in separate ways. And for some of you, you know, it's not a romance, it's a friend. And you feel like you and this friend have grown in separate ways and you're just in a different space now and you don't relate and um, you may be articulating that or expressing that to this person. Others of you, there's may be where we are having some reconnection going on with past friends or romances. And this is, you know, where you guys will both be in this higher plane of vibration and experiencing each other. That's why spirit would realign you because your energies are similar. If they're way out of whack, you, you can't align. So it could be returning into your life um, because you both have changed quite a bit. You're soulmates and you know, you're meant to walk a path together um, at this point once again. Um, or this could be where, you know, the coming together, the communication, the conversation is so that you guys can have closure and heal and mend and elevate and both move forward. All right. So Aquarius, it's all about relationships, friendships, romance, business, all of it, relationship with yourself, relationship with your spiritual team. It's just that's what's in focus. You're feeling it. You're thinking it. Um, and there's no escaping it. So let's pull some tarot. We need one more. All right, let's see what comes out here. Oh, okay, I've got to pull another card. So, all right, your your tarot is out. Let's, I meant to pull this. We have, and again, you guys, I feel this like two situations, two different situations coming through, especially with the 11 coming out twice like that. All right, so we have lead, which is, um, in one situation, Aquarius, this may be where you've got to put yourself out there. You've got to make the step, the effort to do the communication. And over here, we have make a decision. So that could reiterate that. But it could also be, um, you know, where somebody's finally making the decision to express to you, to communicate with you. We have the seven of wands. You have the upper hand. We have the two of pentacles, um, you know, where things felt restricted or back and forth on the fence. No longer. Next, we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles, Completion, Manifestation, Two of Swords, and lastly, the Five of Wands. Okay, so there could be some internal conflict about, you know, the expression, the letting certain people back into your life, or, you know, wanting to cut certain people off and out. I really feel like it's going both ways, Aquarius. It's like you're... Uh, cleaning house so to speak in all of the relationships in your life if there's really no benefit any longer for you or the other person is you're ready to just end things and walk away um you know if you've really been hung up and hurt over some things you're ready to let it go to forgive to heal and move on and move forward um also definitely with this relationship change and then love partnership uh some of you could finally be getting into some romantic committed relationships or finally, you know, if you've just been kind of casually dating, you might be getting committed to this person finally. It's just that's where your focus is in December, Aquarius. So let's pull some more tarot. It's all about your relationships and your connections and are they there for you? Um, do you need to let them go? Do you want to bring new people in? We have the chariot. Yeah, you, Aquarius, you, 
you have the upper hand, like you hold the cards, you are making the final decision here. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles, wow, so you got the Ten of Pentacles twice. So Aquarius, some of these uh, connections, it's like that you're walking away from maybe long-standing connections in your life, but you just decide there's no longer any viability to that connection. Um, others of you, you know, the reason why these different connections are going to dissolve out is because you've fulfilled your karma, you've learned your life lessons, and it's time to move on and move forward for both of you. Uh, next out is the King of Pentacles. So some of you, this could involve an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also for others of you, this may be really centered around the workplace. Next is the Five of Swords on top of this Two of Swords. This is you not wanting to hurt anybody or hurt anybody's feelings, Aquarius. Um, but listen, it's better to express and articulate yourself and put it out there and just deal with that rather than just ghosting, cutting off, and walking away. Now, there may be some people that kind of did that to you that are showing back up because they want to apologize. They want to make things right with you. And, you know, take the apology. It doesn't mean you have to let them back in, okay? But take the apology because that allows you to heal and mend and move on and move forward. And lastly, we have the Two of Cups. Nice. Um, this is the connection, okay? There is some internal conflict going on uh, with you about do I open up to new people or do I let this person back in? Do I share my heart? Am I Yes, Aquarius, follow your heart, okay? And I don't mean like the emotional attachments. I mean that pulling from your soul where it's like it's time to go. This relationship has run its course or that pulling in your soul. You need to forgive. You need to, you know let this person back in the signs and synchronicities will be everywhere Aquarius if that is the case this is a general reading so it's really hard to pinpoint what you need to do in any given situation but there you go so first bit of advice is all about leading and it says when in a position of leadership make logical and courageous decisions you may experience sorrow or frustration and feel overwhelmed still you must do what you must do what it takes, even in the face of disapproval. Results matter. So yeah, Aquarius, you may want to just kind of like hold it in, walk away, or try to like nonchalantly distance yourself from somebody and your spirit guides are like, that's not the course of action. You just need to put it out there. Even if you're weary of what will be said or you really don't want to hurt somebody, spirits like rip the band-aid off. It's better to be real, blunt, upfront, honest, and forward rather than to kind of sugarcoat, beat around the bush and be deceptive. You'll be so much happier you did, okay? Also, um, with make a decision, it says, don't be afraid to make that choice in a seemingly choiceless situation. Take the first step and great opportunities will emerge for you and those involved. Trust that every road is a route to your destiny. Believe in yourself. Wow. Those two are so beautifully paired with each other. Aquarius, do what's best for you. Don't be afraid to hurt feelings. Um, also, if it feels right, don't be afraid to forgive and mend and heal, okay? It's all about um, your relationships and your connections, and there's big time shifting and changing, especially in two. I mean, it, right from the start, we have the two, then we have the 11s coming out, and you got a two here, you got a two here, you got a two here. Uh, so yeah, Aquarius, there's definitely a theme of two, two different relationships, big, significant changes taking place for you. So those are your messages, Aquarius. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.